Oh, thanks, but I have my wardrobe. I'm king for the week, so I get to wear this. You know, so. Just take this. Peasants. Ungrateful peasants, you too. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lock It In. I'm Rachel Benetta. As always, I'm joined by professional gambler Todd Furman, Fox Sports radio host Clay Travis, and the man who was once king... But we're taking away his crown because he's too rude to everyone because of Sal. No way. I'm oh, keeping it. That's part of the charm, being rude, Does right? it feel expensive on your head, or does it feel like 99 cents? No, yeah, no, it's dripping. I have to wash the dye out of my hair for these <laughs> fake jewels every night. All right, it's almost time for the balance with their money where their mouths are. But before we do, let me tell you how the game works. One of these three guys is going to win the week. They all start with a grand and make bets every day building or blowing their bankrolls. On Friday... They all bet big, and Monday we crown our weekly champ. Who is it going to be on Monday? Guys, we have to look through last night's bet. Clay, big win on the over in the Thursday night game. Good for you. I uh, won last night. I think I've won three of the four nights so far this week. I come into Friday as a substantial favorite, and I spent way too much time trying to decide what bets I was going to make to try to win for the first time. And I, I hope I didn't psych myself out. Could have overthought it. Todd, you got no yeah. help from Zach Ertz last night. Uh, that I did not, and I got less help from the Florida Panthers, who came back to tie the game 4-4. Couldn't get over the hump. Small loser, but we move on. Bigger things in our sights for the weekend. All right. Sal, just like they let down their fan base last night, the Giants let you down as well. Yeah, Clay was smart to take the over. I tied it with the Giants on a teaser plus eight. It wasn't enough. The Red Raiders helped me. But, Furman, I think we're doing this the wrong way. The only thing better than Clay not winning is him winning and not being able to celebrate while he's away next That would we, be rather we, lovely. We should put all our money on a 40-team parlay and blow this on purpose, <laughs> right? All right. Well, I think that's the only way to try and approach it, Sal. I mean, clearly Clay's recipe for success has paid dividends over the first four weeks we've done this. Cannot wait to hear the game plans later. All right, enough about the past. We need to talk about this weekend. It is time to place your bet. Sal, give me all three of your weekend bets. What you got? All right, listen to the king here. Like a king, I'm going big. In fact, the biggest bet in locking in long-storied history, it's a three-team 10-point wow. teaser. Bama minus 17 and a half over Missouri. They may need three passes from Tua to cover this adjusted number. Miss Missouri secondary is 116th in the nation. I think there's like only 103 teams. I don't know if it's possible. Minnesota Vikings over Arizona. They already had their horrible home loss versus the Bills. They learned their lesson. Cousins to Thielen Spice. Easy Vikes victory. Chargers plus 10 when you added the teaser over the Browns. The last time the Browns defeated anyone by 10 or more, Rachel, you were a zygote, I think. It, I'm sorry about the biology stuff, but I have to I teach you guys. What? A zygote. You were very a tiny. You weren't even born. 558.50 to win 507. That's a monster bet. Number two. Brewers over Dodgers, game one. This is an underdog money line parlay. Kershaw shows his true October colors in about an hour. Duke over Georgia Tech. Uh, Georgia Tech has 14 fumbles against this Duke defense, which is really good. It's going to be tough for them to win. And Clay's Tennessee Titans over the Ravens. Ravens' third road game in a row. The defense clamps down for Coach Brable's team. They get it done 50 to win 528-50. That is diabolical of Sal to put me in a spot where I might well be rooting to try to win for the week, yet yeah. it come down to whether or not my Titans oh, win or not against the, the Ravens. Was. Just utterly diabolical okay. move there by Sal. A lot of mind games. Trying to play me against game. myself. Sorry, I apologize That's how you do. That. That's how you play the game. It must be done. Third pick. I'm going Texans minus 21. This, don't freak out. This is an adjusted spread. Plus 375. I think this is a blowout of the week. Uh, I don't know which Josh this is. Allen, J.J. Watt has a field day with Josh Allen. Texas win this 40-13. to 13. Break out already, Deshaun. I'm betting 80 to win 300. All right. It's the time for the parlay section of our show, which means Clay is up with all three of his picks. How many pages and pages of bets have our four researchers put together for you? Well, when we get to the E spot, I've got a lot of pages to go through. i got a lot of outstanding bets, and I'm a little bit nervous. I'm looking at Sal's picks, and I'm thinking, I like Sal's picks. I looked at Furman's picks. I like those. Uh, I'm doubting everything. <laughs> but when you doubt everything, you know what you come back on? 
rely on Nick Saban. Trust in the process. I think Bama, this line has come down to 27 and a half. I like it there. 200 bucks to win 181. I think Bama wins really big. Defense comes to play. Doesn't allow Missouri to score very many. Saban was angry about giving up 31 to Arkansas last week. And then we're on to number two. Texas A&M minus two and a half at South Carolina. I think A&M's a lot better than South Carolina. We don't know about Jake Bentley's health. South Carolina was very fortunate to win last weekend. A&M's got a top 25 offense and defense. I believe in Jimbo Fisher on the road here. 200 bucks to win 174 at minus two and a half. And you've made two picks already, Clay, and we haven't seen a parlay. What's going on here? Are you feeling okay? I have a feeling at the end of the show, he's is, just saving it. Is there an step. imposter in here? I mean, I didn't know you were able to make straight bets as part of this show. Here is the parlay for everybody oh, out there that wants a little bit of parlay action. I got four teams for you. Pull it up, boys and girls. Let's play it. $21 I'm betting, or $41 I'm betting to win $492. The two that I already gave you, Bama and A&M. I love the under Georgia at LSU. I don't think LSU will have any success at all against Georgia. Like Georgia to cover in that game as well. And then Florida at Vanderbilt, the under 51. Love all four of these. 41 to win 492. Trying to put it away early. Put these guys to sleep. Get that crown on my head. Let everybody see me in London luxuriating oh, with a nice cigar people. and a nice crown. You know London's not in the SEC, right, Clay? <laughs> <laughs> I've been told. Okay. We might expand again. Right. Might do it. All right. And last but not least, we get to Todd. What three bets are you throwing out there this weekend, Mr. Furman? <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of speechless after watching those two guys roll out all their picks, but I'll start a little more conventional fashion. And I'll back to Dallas Cowboys plus three against Jacksonville. It's a game we've talked about in great detail all week. Putting up 131 to make 125. I waited and waited. Just hoping I got the hook here. It never ultimately popped. But give me a good defense catching points at home with their backs against the wall. I have zero confidence in Blake Bortles' ability to go up against this Dallas defense. I don't think Dallas may even need the points. I think they have an excellent chance to win this game outright and move back to 500 on the season. Mm. What's your second? And so from there, I'm going to go to Big Ten country, a game that's seen a ton of line movement this week. But I still think there's value in the underdog with Nebraska. Now, they may be winless on the season, but their Achilles heel has been an inability to stop opposing ground games. They gave up almost 400 yards to Wisconsin. Well, fortunately, Northwestern can't run the football against the high school caliber defense, which is about what Nebraska is. And I love what I've seen from Adrian Martinez. There's no home field advantage to speak of in Evanston. Nebraska fans are going to travel, and I love what the players have said. They think they're starting to come together. Nebraska, a live underdog here, despite not getting the best of the number. And when I look at my last bet, I did have to take a page out of the parlay playbook here. I wanted to add... Oh, Michigan no. Wow, what's the, happening? It, the Michigan game got away from me, so I refused to lay a bad number, so I use it as a parlay leg here. And we've talked about KC in New England. Bill Belichick feasts on young quarterback. I'm putting up 250 for an even money bet here. I'm hoping that I already have the week in the bag, though, by the time New England kicks off at about 20 Eastern on Sunday. I love it. Talk about a dilemma. Either he makes a money line parlay to try to catch up, but then he gets ostracized by a super cool gambling group friends so i feel bad for you todd you have to look for new friends all the time also todd why do you why did you leave eight dollars can you explain that <laughs> that to us you know i have so little confidence in clay's picks and his parlays and everything <laughs> else that i needed to leave that there in reserve just in case the so worst comes to worst if we all struggle we can all chip in and buy another cake or something along those lines oh how lovely all right remember for those of you playing along at home please play responsibly and there you have it the bets are locked. Coming up, the guys try to make you smarter with their locks and stay away as we head into the weekend. Stick around. Tonight on FS1, the National League Championship Series begins with Game 1. Clayton Kershaw looks to continue his playoff dominance. The Dodgers' road back to the World Series goes through Milwaukee, where Christian Yelich and a Red Hot Brewers team away. Dodgers, Brewers, Game 1. Coverage begins tonight at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on FS1 and the Fox Sports app. A little too quiet in here. It gives me the willies. Bad Times at the El Royale is the best thriller in years. Daring and original. Four stars. You do have something, don't you? Bad Times at the El Royale. Rated R. Now playing. Ooh.